Northern Light Health, formerly known as Eastern Maine Healthcare Systems, employs over 1,600 providers and owns and operates several locations, becoming a recognizable name among the region. On Wednesday, Greg LaFrancois resigned from his role as president of Eastern Maine Medical Center. The very next day, another resignation, this time by Inland Hospital and Continuing Care's president, Tricia Costigan. And on Friday, a third resignation, Northern Light Foundation's president, Mike Smith. According to Northern Light, they asked for LaFrancois, Costigan and Smith to resign to reduce operational costs while creating shared oversight roles and responsibilities. According to Suzanne Spruce, for several months they've implemented changes for better care delivery and addressing patient needs, including changes to the administrative structure of Northern Light Health, such as consolidating those three senior leadership roles. Northern Light announced Ava Collins will serve as interim president of EMMC. Randy Clark will take over leadership responsibilities of Inland Hospital and Continuing Care in tandem with his current role as president of Sebastocook Valley Hospital. And senior VP Marie Viennu will become regional president. Northern Light's 2023 annual report shows an operations loss of over $36 million, an improvement over the previous year's $131 million loss. This latest leadership restructuring comes after a credit agency dropped Northern Light's rating EMS shortages and rate changes causing their ambulance service to vacate Corinth and the closures of their Orono, Southwest Harbor and Dexter locations. Moving forward, Spruce says beginning on October 21st, their walk-in care location on Union Street in Bangor will have more available hours. On January 1st, Northern Light will begin a partnership with the healthcare organization Compass One. According to Spruce, this will, quote, reduce costs through alignment and efficiencies in operational functions, end quote, as Compass One will facilitate food, nutrition, and environmental services to Northern Light's acute care facilities. Spruce says this will result in no layoffs. In Bangor, Doug Banks, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.